I just want to get her hands tight. Uh -huh. The way See, the way the Spanish culture have made it so difficult so slow, for one like me uh -huh. to get a job uh -huh. where I'm from. Uh -huh. The country that I've been oppressed in. Don't how do you make it difficult for me to get a job, but I would never make it difficult for you to get a job? They don't care. Yeah. We're both the minority. No, I no, go no, to this no, interview, no. next on Maya downtown in Dallas, Texas. Y'all can't be serious right now. Approach me speaking nothing but Spanish. Yes. I answered a few questions because I do understand some Spanish. I'm not, I'm not fluent in Spanish. Do I need to be fluent in Spanish to get this job? He says, yes. And then he starts speaking to me in English. This is what's going to happen a lot. <laughs> Let her play uh. More, and it is still discriminatory. I told you guys um, a million times. I've been, I've been, I'm not, you, you think one of these guys is going to hate on him? I got Mexican guys that, that, that I work with, um, right? I got jobs and stuff like that because no fast brothers. And I don't want to go there, okay? Anyway. Um, when they come to the job site, I say, bro, you know, I don't see no one else but Mexicans. I'm talking about they don't want to hire a Dominican, Cuban, nothing else, the Colombian. No, no. I said, what happened? He says, I got to stand with my people. You see? <laughs> and I said, so, so I'm hiring you. I'm a black man hiring you. And he, he made a good, he made a good side comment when he was done. He didn't want to say, but I got him comfortable. I'm hiring you to do the work, a black man. And you are not going to hire anybody else but Mexicans to do the job. That's correct. Okay. Now, these guys is getting money now. Okay. I told you guys about um, Latin America. And Latin Americans will tell you, the, the men were there, the honest men will tell you, it is a segregation there. Yes, if you work hard, you can get a job. Really hard like a, a sclavo. Okay, you can work very hard. But the opportunities and freedoms that you had in the U.S., because U.S. is a country where many cultures can win. That's why everyone comes here. Those will start to go away when different cultures in higher numbers start to populate. Texas happens to be a state that is now predominantly Mexican. Okay? Um, and, and, and no offense... Um, folks that claim coalitions and shit like that is usually street gangs. Street gangs are trying to form a coalition because they're killing each other too much. Okay, that's really it. And even there, there's a level of, well, he's buying product for me and selling it to his community. So I guess we don't want to beef with him too much. Same thing. It's not that that particular, the guys that are making the drugs are feeling sorry or feeling a love for the other culture the other culture is their worker in a in some sort of ways right you can look at it so many different ways right you can call you can call the the, the the street level guys amazon and and these guys are bringing product on the shelves whatever you want to call it but there's a business relationship and that's where you hear a lot of the coalitions brown and black coalition blah 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 coalition that's drug that's 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 some money shit on street on the street level Okay, they got to get along because one hand needs the other for now, for now. Okay, but as they continue to populate, I've been in Mexico. Okay, I love it. I love the, I if love Mexico. I love, I love Mexico I City. I love Mexico City. It's a beautiful city, beautiful, uh, beautiful atmosphere. You can see the family culture. You can see the homogeneous culture of their of the society, though. All right. It's solidarity, Mexican for Mexican. Now, do Mexicans and Mexicans fight each other? Fuck yeah. They got enough problems on their own. Fuck yeah. Big problems. You know, because humans are humans. You take out the black, it doesn't, right? That's a country that doesn't have too many blacks in the city. And they still don't get along. There's still a lot of fights. There's still a lot of violence. But they have a family. It's much less than they have a family aspect there that I, that I just like, right? They go out, you know, Sundays, mother, mommy, and daddy with the kids walking. They got bike day. They got all this shit. You can't really show off too much. Yes, you'll probably die if you, if you fucking really stunting like that unless you're a fucking president. There's a lot of murders. Yes, yes. The criminality is at a higher level. It's not as nasty as what you see here as far as um, dogs on the street shooting randomly. Um, but these, these are, these are high-level military-like killings 
uh, of political officials at a high number. They don't fuck around there, and it's serious. It's not. It's not a game. These people here, the Americans, and it's not just black culture. This goes for all of them. I hate to say, I hate to bring my white folks in it, but sometimes they there's that's another level that's oblivious to what's happening. Okay, they don't realize it. Um, the new war doesn't have to be shooting you down on nuclear weapons. It doesn't have to be that way. Yeah, everyone thinks it's. Everyone thinks, oh, we, uh, and, and t- by the way, Texas has a big history, if you read up on it, with the Mexicans and the, and the, and the, and the U.S. There's a big, long history. Um, it's crazy. You know, Mexicans can claim the state, even though, you know, it's, it's a big fucking debate. So when I'll, I'll go there a little bit. The reason why Mexicans are populating California and, and Texas at a high level is because they feel it's theirs. I'll say it. Okay? They have storylines where they felt the U.S. took it in the wrong way, even though it was alleged, from what I've seen, alleged agreement and a payment made for the states. They don't, they're not, they're not, they're not jiving with it because it doesn't fall in their favor. They're going, this belongs to us. Okay? Um, and, Mexicans come are here for a reason, right? There were certain industries that needed the support, that needed cheaper labor, because uh, if if you hired somebody of our American dialect, it appeared it appeared the work wasn't going to get done. They didn't want to work hard, too much time off, and and really the reality, I don't think it does not work hard. Is the big thing. The big thing was. They're probably forty, fifty dollars higher. You can hire five or five or six Mexicans for that price. That is now changing as they've learned English. The prices are not evening out as it will. As that, that's how it goes. Once a, a, a immigrant comes in, the, the the first generation is the one that benefits you the most because they're willing to work for peanuts. And for you, it's like man, this is cheap. For them, it's like wow, this is big money. They send the money back home, but they make the babies here. They then assimilate to the U.S. The second generation of kids speak English. They start to learn the culture. They watch the social media, but they're still in the businesses that their their parents created. If they can keep it up and have the same worth ethic, because they start to get the American culture and they'll lose it. And then boom, that group then takes over the next society societal norm of the middle class and and lower class and the groups that were previously there that didn't didn't take advantage of and move up. Ah uh, ah uh, ah. Uh, Remember what I just said, that didn't take advantage of or didn't move up. Because, yes, it's hard to move up. There's a lot of things against you. There's a lot of laws against you, a lot of people against you. You're in this situation, right? Again, this is a black woman crying for a Mexican to give her a job. Think about that shit. They just came over. This is a black woman crying for a Mexican to give her a job. Do you see the irony? That's why they tell you, and, and, and we can hate on um, white culture all you want, but white culture hires whatever, whoever is best for the job. They spread it out, right? Right? Let's be honest. They hire everybody, all right? There had to be a, a number of whites that elected Obama in there. He didn't get there with just a black vote, right? These positions. Right, they're more open to different cultures because it's, it's built the basis of America. It's to their benefit in allowing others to come in because it's a net positive if it's done the right way. Immigration, immigration is positive if it's done the right way and planned. You can make fucking big money. That's why America is what it is, melting pot of fucking power. But the script has changed because. A new group has come in and done what, no offense, our culture did not want to do. They stick with their fear. I'm going to say it a fucking again. And I, I'm getting angry now. I am getting angry. And I know a lot of, not a lot, a lot of brothers will get on me. But fucking Amiri, uh, all that shit that, you know, that, that, that we like, we like the style. On a grand scale of things, not everybody can buy the type of shit, guys. All right? And no offense... The woman of the culture, of our culture, appear to have a high balance of wanting to if wear reject, I just- and show off with those fucking things that don't support their community. Have you seen Mexicans wearing a Mary, Louis Vuitton, 
blah blah blah. You know what I just saw a Mexican do? I res this is what a Mexican does with their fucking money. Construction CEO explains how to actually price your business. So when you're pricing your business, there's two ways you can price it. You can price it the cheapest way, or you can. The pickup truck costs between ten and fourteen thousand for 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 a pickup truck that can carry a heavy payload. They all got the pickup trucks. They buy that instead of the fucking uh, like my dumb ass, you know, you know, uh, you know, hundred thousand dollar cars, right? I'm talking about me. I'm not gonna talk about y'all, but you can fucking put it in your perspective and wake the fuck up. You know, they're not playing pickup ball all day at LA Fitness. All right, I used to do that to play pickup ball and fucking dribble around talking shit, chasing women. Okay, I'm just giving you perspective. I'm not saying it's all. I'm just saying the things they didn't focus on sports, right? Right. Okay. So they pick, they got the pickup truck. Um, they start with some lawn services, right? They, they they have their own income, right? Right. Right. And and with the pickup truck, you can do a lot of different shit. Right? I know. I, I I finally learned that in my fucking old age, which I learned it younger. The pickup truck can do some dump services. It can carry. It can look. It can do a lot of things. Delivery service. That pickup truck or work van is fucking incredible. The versatility of what you can do with it. All right. Their women are accustomed to them in these type of fields. This is what they do. So I hate to say it, ladies, but Hispanic women, they look good as fuck. They look good as hell. They'll be in, you know, fifteen dollars sandals. They got a hundred. They got a. They got a set that costs no more than sixty to one hundred dollars. They look just as good as any other woman out there. But they're going home. They got a. They got a. They got a husband. They got a boyfriend that's doing construction work. They're in a. You know, a two two, a house. Not in a great area. That doesn't need to be great. Their community's there, and they're fucking happy. And they're making babies. They're making babies. The abuela's there. The grandpa. The, uh, the uncle's there. They chill out with each other. They, they love each other. They hire each other. They respect each other. You see? Especially when it comes to another race. Uh, I know, Now, I said respect. I should have said respect to a certain level. After that, there's a certain level where they start doing violence. And they're, they're probably going to kill each other at some point. That's why they're not too worried about blacks, whites at the end of the day. They got, they got a lot more shit going on in their hands right now. Right? But. They're able to obtain their own businesses and create their own pathway. So they're in their mind, they're looking at you and they're scratching their fucking head like, what the fuck happened to you? What happened to you? Like, you had the same opportunity. But you didn't want to do these jobs. You wanted to, you know, and, and it appears, again, naked eye, want to be a rapper, want to be an athlete. The athlete thing is I get, I get the most pissed off on. Uh, sorry for my guys in the white culture. I'm a little bit of asshole. I am taller. I do fit the bill for an athlete. However, I do hate the question. Why do I hate the question? I hate the question when they keep asking me athlete questions, including old black people, because it's you put you, you it doesn't it's not meant to be one box, but it appears the kids are taking in like this is my only box. Meaning, either I sell drugs, right? Or fucking play sports. And that's it. But there's no window to that. That's why I make comments in the videos when I see there's a video of, uh, of, of the Philadelphia Eagles. I think Dennis Sperling. Shout out to Dennis Sperling. He put it out there. I'll, I'll show it to you in a second. I'll show, it, I'll show you. I'll, let, me, let me get there. If you see, I still got his pose up there. Shout out to him. Shout, go to his channel. Incredible brother, man. Incredible work this man puts into his channel. Oh, he has 68K. So he moving. He moving. Um, I wonder if it's out there. Community. Let me see here. He's putting a lot of stuff out there. I believe he had, Here we go. So this is his picture of the Eagles. These are the bunnies, right? And then and he's alleging, I don't think that it is, because I know a lot of pro players. I think these girls are married to white guys. But if you go to the right, here goes, here goes the here goes the, the they're making an analogy like here go, here goes the wives and girlfriends of the Philadelphia Eagles. So this is the Eagles team, and this is their wives. Right? Alright. So now. So now where I'm trying to where I'm gonna try to go with this. They they this is the only round where I see uh, no offense that I see a lot of bunnies go to brothers. And you gotta think to, uh, this is a money play. They marry for security. Let's call it what it is, right? Because if you didn't play sports, would they still be there is the big fucking question. 
cleat chasers in college. We all seen it, guys. It's normal occurrence. It is like fucking clockwork. You go to a college, you go to a football field, you see some black guys, you know there's a snow bunny there. It's it's an epidemic across all and and, and white guys and I'm I'm an honest guy. You guys adore fucking sports so much. Your daughters have taken that in. And you're the one that are attracting your daughters to the black guy. It's because of your admiration for the sport. Did you know that? That's what's happening. It's not these girls. Oh, uh, of course, there's a curiosity there on both sides. Especially if you haven't had one before. You want to try it, right? But then there's a, oh, my dad loves football. He plays football. You see the you see the deal? Then the other thing is there's a lot of competition amongst white women. If you can't tell, they all look the same. They all have the same body structure. Okay? I call it LA Fitness regular, right? Uh, spandex, blondie, uh, nice looking body. They're everywhere. They're so numerous that actually it's tougher than the fine men in some cases. So they have to jump over. They have so much competition in the white community for white women. I'm telling you, they're all in shape. Well, black girls, I'm not going to go there, but you know where I'm going now, right? If a girl, if a black girl is in shape and she stands out, she's she's on untu- she's untouchable. She's she's at the top rank. She can get anybody. White girls, this is normalized for them to have a certain look in the body structure. It's normalized. A Spanish woman as well at a younger age. All right. Let me come back to the topic. Let me come back to the topic and bring you in a little bit. Because of the 0.0005% of these guys making it, a lot of black guys don't make it because they're not adorned by this race of women and their own woman, right? And therefore, they're stuck in this normalcy where being a, you know, being a subject worker is the output and not owning your own business, right? Because sports, drugs, and entertainment. This is what we prioritize in our communities. The Hispanic community, I just told you, we've been to Columbia, you've been to these places, and you know, you know what it is, man. Let's let's, let's call it straight straight. CEO. You know what it is. And look, at look, he got his trucks, he has his business, okay? Construction CEO, Danny Cardenas, okay? This is what they prioritize. This is how they win. And then they buy, you may see them buy Louis V and uh, all that shit. But their money's spent on stuff that we could be doing and obtain licenses for. And they're just not going to show you respect in the U.S. when they come here and, 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 and jump you when you've been here longer. We, fuck you, me, we, we've been here longer. They jump you and they go, what the fuck? Man, fuck that. And in, and, in, and, in, and in their country, is he has a Mexican flag on the side? Let me see. Explains how to actually He's price Mexicano. You. He's Mexicano. And 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 they have, they definitely have a stronger work work culture in their country when they come here. They work their fucking asses off. They're here to work. They're here to get the fucking job done. You know, and uh, a lot of a lot of a lot of a lot of the sisters, you know, crying. I just want to see you see and and the brothers that make it to this level are very re- very rare when a lot of these guys are winning they're all over they're all over by the way if you think they're making fifty sixty thousand dollars you're, you're gonna be sorely fucking mistaken all right these are guys making six hundred thousand to one point two million dollars around me all the time. Around me, I got guys uh, with three three workers, and these are just guys they hire. I mean, I pay them forty grand total in a fucking month to do some work. In a month, and he had like six other jobs there. He had six other jobs. He was doing mine on the side for forty k. See, for a new construction. Okay, I'm just being straight out with you. All right. And and the black girl's crying. Why won't they hire me? Motherfucker, because sorry for custody. It, it does anger me because I'm part of the problem. We focused on the wrong effing things. We did. I love boxing. 
but it's not my life. I love sports, but it's not my life no more. I know that business should be your life. Business should be your life, all right? And uh, sad to say, it's, I think it's too late uh, at this point in time. I, 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 I'm not, not going to say that. I'm not going to say that. It's going to be a different type of normal normalcy for the, for the community, okay? You're not going to be... These guys make babies like clockwork, okay? Now, the influence of social media will break them up. That's, that's true. The America will fuck you up, Mr. Cardenas. I'm sorry. It's just going to happen, right? The social, American social media is going to break up your family. You're going to be in the same situation. Single mother household. You're a single mom. You're going to see all that shit that's because, because America spoils people, including the woman. So you're going to have the same fucking problems that men, American men are having. That's a sad thing. So with money comes problems unless you keep your community. But for the time being, they're going to continue to make babies, three to four kids, easy, have the job, make big money, not, not spend on excessive stuff. They will do the house, but the house will be in the area where their community is frequent, frequented, where their people are. So it's not as much of it as a headache. You understand? Right? And their women are still going to buy, you know, $100 sets, not $10,000 fucking Birkins. Their women are still going to uh, uh, go with their men. No problem. Right? He could be an Uber driver. She's down. She'll run with it. Can you provide for the family? And that's the difference. White men are going through the same things. Black, white men, we're not reproducing. Our women's standards are so much higher. The people that are winning are the new immigrants coming in where their standards are lower. And a woman are, I got another guy. He's Cuban. I pay him like $150 a day. He brought, he saved up enough money in a month, $10,000. I'm paying $150 a day, okay? I'm, so I'm not bringing him here. He saved up enough money for working enough five jobs to bring his girl over from Cuba. His girl would sit on the job site with him and help him work. $150 a day. The girl's bad as fuck. <laughs> that girl looked good as hell. I'm looking at this guy like, how the fuck did you get that? All right, black Cuban, by the way, or, or darker skinned Cuban, brought over a badass Cubano to the job site, working the job, right? You call him, he's there, he's working. You say, be there at 730, they're there at 730. Not give me no fucking excuses, they're not giving me an attitude, they're not cutting corners. Well, I, I won't say that. I mean, let me not go there. If you don't want, you got to watch all these guys in construction. But, um, yeah, that's what it is, in my opinion. It's a tough topic to swallow. Instructions. And and a lot of black girls don't get it. You don't. You gotta support your fucking man. Gucci, Gucci, Prada, Prada. Listen, I love it too. I'm just fucking. I know the gear. I know every fucking Lambin and all that. I know. I know it. I know. But if we don't support our communities like they do, they they gave you the role model. They gave you the blueprint. If you can't do it like they do it, man, you, you there's no there's no way you're gonna cast a Hispanic society right now. Their standards are their standards are lower of living because it is not meaningful for them. The meaningful thing for the Hispanic community is a fucking familia. Estupido negro we puta. Don't blame them for not giving you a job. Of course they're not going to give you a job. They know how to do the work. They're doing it just like the Jewish have done it. Okay? All right? Um, ca Caucasian cultures are smart. They do leave the lower end jobs, right? Middle middle management, they'll say other races can, can jump in there. But when you get to the CEO and the big bosses, they don't play. They don't, they're not going to let you in those fucking roles like that. They're not going to let you in those roles like that. But they will allow you, if you can create your own business in your own area, they'll say, well, you can win there if you want. The next group of cultures, the Spanish, the Latin culture... When they get in power, when they start being presidents, because that will happen. Yes, how's that going to happen? They make babies. So the babies get older. They're Hispanic. They'll have enough numbers, and they'll vote you out. That goes for blacks and whites. You're out of there. You're out of there. You understand? They make the babies. The babies get older. They got, like, like I said, three to four kids at a minimum. And then when they get older, they, they go, what happened to the population? Well, it's all Hispanic. Well, who do they think they're going to vote for? Fucking, uh, 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 you know, uh, uh, Kawisha Black? No, you ain't winning that fucking election. You're gone. You lost it. You lost it. Blacks tend to win in black majority uh, 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 cities. Whites tend to win in white majority cities. When Hispanics get the majority, you're going to start to see Hispanics run up the mill and start to take over government positions. And that will be the end of a lot of different cultures in America. 
A lot of different colors are going to feel the fucking pain. Because when they come over, they're not afraid to say it. I'm, I'm working for my people. And the quicker you learn that, the, the better you can understand how you need to position yourself. Nothing wrong with what they're doing. Right? Because they're going to say, you didn't, give me a, you didn't give me a fair shake. You wanted to hire me on the cheap. You think you're fucking sticking your dick up my ass. You call me a fucking beaner. You made fun of me and my culture. Fuck you. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to stick with my people. We're going to take this shit over. That's what, that's what happens. You know, a lot of our cultures were mocking the Mexicans. Oh, they're cheap. They're this. Guess what? Ain't, ain't no cheap no more, Papa. CEO explains how ain't no to cheap no more, Papa. So when you're pricing your business, there's two ways you can price See? it. You can price it ain't the no cheapest no more. way or you can price it the correct way. The sad thing for these Mexican cultures is they don't realize that the fabric of the U.S. was all these different cultures coming in one. When you have only your culture that comes in here, you change the fabric of the society and America will no longer be what it was. There's more to it than just these type of jobs. That's the thing. There's science. There's there's different high end positions that make America strong, and it takes a conglomerate, including blacks, whites, Asians, everything, to make that happen. When you lose that, America will not be as strong as it once was. It's already going down. Just a heads up for you. You probably don't want everything to be just you guys, right? Because th th in their minds, they think you know houses are a fucking business. It can be, I think, for the next fifteen years. But there comes a point where they don't you don't need to fuck as many houses. Right. And there's not there's not big jobs being able to hire these people to fucking afford these houses. You flood the market with houses, it gets cheaper and cheaper. And then what happens is your people move in there. You say, well, we got the American dream. Yeah, for five, 10 years. Then the American dream goes away because everyone else is left. And it's just you're left there. And you go, what happened to America? Everyone's gone. The crime starts to go up because there's no jobs because the people, the, the people that were hiring you were other races. Right. The whites were hiring you, the, the blacks were hiring you, the some other rich Hispanic. Once you kicked all those other Hispanic groups out, the Brazil out, and then the blacks out, and the whites out, guess what happens? You're you're back in Mexico, and you say, "What the fuck happened?" You see what happens, brothers? I'm just telling you, that's the other that's the other side of the stick. You need it to be mixed. That's how we fucking making it happen here, guys. The scientists and all that, the creators, they happen to be. Not of Mexican descent mainly. Even the richest guy in Mexico is not of Mexican descent. Carlos Slim is an Arab. He's Arab. He's not even full Mexican. He's an Arab. He came over and made the money. So be careful what you're asking for. That said, for the black community, this is written in stone, guys. It's very simple. Construction CEO. A black woman, would you date a guy in an apartment? Would you have multiple kids with him? Are you willing to take the lower standard? Are you willing to be a woman of the household while this guy... Because the women in these Hispanic cultures, they do everything. I got to admit it. With a job. I'm not criticizing us heavily. I'm just saying, if you want to compete, this is the competition. In a couple of years, they gain these type of businesses. The problem is our culture doesn't have this, these type of workers that want to work these jobs. Everybody wants to be a basketball player, a rapper. That's why I hate the question. Do you play ball, sir? Please stop asking that to the black kids because then they're fucking stuck and think that's all they can fucking do for society. And when they don't make it because it's 0.00003%, they get fucking angry. Well, why are they doing crime? Because they fucking, all they thought they could do is play sports. That's all they thought they could fucking do. And then when they don't play sports, if it, it makes them feel as though I've seen it. Oh, I didn't make it. No one fucking respects me. No one wants to, you know, no one wants to talk to me. I don't play sports. What a shame. Because they didn't have their own community. Even their own community fucking played that way. I'm going to let you go here, man. It's a deep topic. We got to do part two on this. Black woman's angry because Mexicans are taking over the job network. Lady, uh, you can't be mad at the, at, the, at the game of what we call competition. You either play ball the way they play it or fucking get taken over. And right now it's a full taking over by the immigrant class. And they will take over because it's just numbers. Five, six kids at a time. Harala outfits, no Birkin. Regular fucking Honda Accord, woman cooks and cleans. She's good with it. Have a household. Go out on Sunday. They're fucking hat. I mean, they're 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 okay. And nothing's perfect in relationships. We know that. But they're better off than the black community. Ah, oh, he don't got no Birkin. He don't buy me no Birkin. He don't buy me no clothes. He don't got no fucking uh Bentley. Uh, that's where we're stuck with that kind of that kind of mindset. And it's fucking us. And stop. I'm going to tell you this. If you're good at sports, play it. Go for it, brother. Go make the NBA. But at the end of the day, that's a third or fourth option. You should be thinking about business first. And when somebody asks you a question or if a woman comes over to you after you've made it and for playing, for being a cleat chaser, you got to be careful with that woman and what she is what she's really after. Does she really like you? Or she's just, you know, she's just using your fucking coach and then throwing you away when she's done.
Okay, you gotta think about that shit. Your boy Mikey signed off. I know it's a tough topic, but it's true, man. Hey, Mexicans just doing what they do. We out of here. Peace. Fuck.